Okay, here is the total solar eclipse from the ground. Obviously, a out of this world experience and satellite imagery also caught the solar eclipse. And did you know it also had quite a profound impact on our weather, weather patterns and weather maps? So there's the umbra traversing parts of North America, really plunging southern Ontario into near darkness. And our highest resolution computer models actually have this parameter baked in. It's called the incoming solar radiation. And you can see that bullseye there where it essentially drops to 0%, all thanks to the moon's shadow. And that can have a profound effect on our temperature patterns, not following that typical diurnal cycle. Take Chatham Kent, just north of Lake Erie. We had a temperature of 15 degrees at one o'clock, but by the time totality approached, the temperature fell below 12. That's over a three degree Celsius drop. But portions of southern Quebec had over a six degree temperature drop falling outside the path of totality, just north of Mont Tremblant. Now here is the impact on the atmosphere. An inversion is created because we cut off, we choke off that shortwave radiation that is coming in from the sun. The long wave radiation continues to emit from the ground that will create an inversion in the atmosphere, dropping the temperature, increasing the relative humidity, and in fact, lowering the wind speeds, albeit temporarily until the eclipse passes.